how to create a blog page in WordPress using Elementor. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we'll be building our blog page for our e-commerce store on WordPress and I would be using Elementor for this. Now you can build a blog page for basically any website. It can really help in building backlinks for e-com stores. So let's get into how we can build a blog page. Now, WordPress can be a little difficult to use on its own, so a plugin like Elementor can be super helpful in terms of editing and creating your pages. And you guys can see with WordPress, you have posts, pages, landing pages, product, mail put page, and more. And to add Elementor to your WordPress website, simply log on to WordPress and scroll down on the bottom left, you will find this plugin section. Over here, you just want to click on add new. And once you search for add new, you just want to search for Elementor and you will get the Elementor plugin over here. So you just want to install it. And if you have any updates, you can choose to update it. And once you have completed your installation, you can go into installed plugins and you would be able to see Elementor. And you want to just activate it and then you can even click on settings over here to modify uh, Elementor. Now you guys can see you will find it in the navigation panel on the left and you have multiple different um, sections over here. So first off, you have some basic uh, features like your grid containers, Flexbox, all the basic features, how uh, items would appear. And then you have your role manager. You also have things like your tools, system info and more. And your role manager allows you to customize the different um, editors or creators on your website. Now to build a blog post page, uh, a lot of people just go ahead, click on new, and then they just start building a new page using Elementor. So if I uh, open up a new page and click on edit with Elementor, uh, this will open up the Elementor editor and I can begin editing or creating with Elementor. Now you can use this this you know uh, way to create a blog page and then you can hyperlink your items over here but I like to use a different method to do this although this method is fine as well what I like to do is I like to go on back to my WordPress dashboard and I'm just going to go back into my dashboard and I like to scroll down go into my plugins over here and you want to click on add new plugin and then you just want to search for the post grid and this is the plugin that you're looking for it's by radius theme this is a short code plugin and you just want to click on it and you can just install now and what this allows you to do is that it allows you to create these amazing looking plugins or basically allows you to integrate your blogs uh, into your elementor so once you install it, this will be your home page and you just want to scroll down and you will find your pop up or common settings. Now, in your common settings, you have your resource load type. And from here, you want to just change it to Elementor slash Gutenberg. And that is because we will be using Elementor. Now, uh, other than that, you have some other changes and you just want to click on save changes over here. So now what I'm just going to do is I'm going to click on the pop-up field selection option over here and this is a feature reserved for the pro version only however what this allows you to do is that it allows you to create dynamic fields that are going to show up in a larger size and be created in a larger size but um, once you have changed this to Elementor you just want to save your settings you don't have to change any of the other settings over here. You have social share options, custom scripts, other settings. You really don't need to really change it, but if you want to change the color scheme to fit your website better, you definitely should do that like so. So you have you know multiple different color options. You can pick them out from here and you have your pop-up background as well. You also have your pop-up text. So let's say we want it to be black, click on save changes, just like that. Now. Once you have completed everything, you want to go into your pages on Elementor and from here you can just click on uh, here and you can create a new page. Uh, I'm just going to click on new and I'm going to click on page. So I'm going to go back, click on new, click on page. And once you add a new page, you want to click on edit with Elementor on the top. 
Now, once you open up Edit with Elementor, you will be able to see the post grid uh, items on the left side of your screen where you were previously able to see all of the layouts that you have with Elementor. Now you can see the post grid. Now, what this will allow you to do is if you drag and drop any kind of layout, it will basically display all of your uh, blog posts. So you have multiple different layout options. You have your layout one, layout two, and then layout three. Obviously, I only have one article or one blog post, so it's only displaying my one blog post. But you guys can also customize the number of columns you want. So if you have a large number of articles being posted, you can increase the number of columns. Then you have your query build, so where you want to source your content from. Obviously, we are looking to source from posts. And then you can also choose to include only, uh, which can help you in filtering out certain sections. If you want to create category-based pages, then you can also use this and include a certain number. And you can add those post IDs uh, directly over here. Then you also have keywords, so you can add search with keyword and you also have AI powered features with that. You also have order by, uh, which you can choose the default order of these. Then you have your links as well. Now, once you have that, you also have your settings. So you can choose to show your section title. Uh, I can choose to remove this. Uh, I do want to have a title and I just wanted to say blog posts. And you also have some other options. Let's say I don't want to display the post categories, so I can leave those out. And let's say I don't want to show maybe um, anything else. So then you have your section title where we will edit the section title. So I want to name this blogs. And then you have the style. Obviously, you're going to customize the style to whatever fits your uh, website's appearance best. And then you have your heading tag, so the overall display options of your heading. Then you have your post title, how you want your post titles to appear, the metadata, the thumbnails, how the featured images should be. Uh, if it should be the featured image from your blog or the first image from your content. And then you also have your image size, how you want it to be. Now, after that, you have some basic style options and then your basic layout options. Now, in this way, you can add amazing little drag and drop widgets. And now, whenever I post my article, it would appear over here. And if I ever want to create a featured one, I can, you know, choose one of their premium layouts and uh, create, you know, more featured uh, sections or featured grids. But in this way, you can really create a super amazing blog post page with Elementor and PostGrid. You don't have to use any premium feature or, you know, you don't really necessarily have to use something that is highly paid. You don't need, you know, the pro versions. You can use the free versions and still have a amazing looking WordPress blog post page. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.